This is something I get asked about a lot, so I figured I would make a video on the exact method I use for taking fat rips. Now, I am talking about flower rips or bong rips, but some of these methods will apply to concentrate or dab hits. However, if you're watching this video with a vape pen in your hand wondering how you're going to take fatter blinkers, just stop. Go get a bong. Go get yourself a flower piece and start taking some real rips. Isn't my wiener cute? So first off, let's talk about what you're gonna need or the equipment. I prefer a single stage 18 inch beaker for my flower hits. One percolator just from the down stem, not too big, not too small. I think it's great for me when I wanna take fat rips. If I'm using a smaller piece like my 12 inch, the smoke just gets into my lungs too quickly and I can't take as much. If I'm using a bigger piece, the smoke doesn't get to my lungs quick enough and I'm just inhaling more air and my hit's not gonna be as big. So for me, right around 16 to 18 inch for a single stage beaker is perfect, but other people are gonna use different sizes depending on the size of your lungs, I'm assuming. I don't even know how big my lungs are, but I've learned over time from using a lot of pieces. That's the ideal size. But let's talk about this piece. It has to be clean. We're not doing hits out of a dirty piece. I also prefer warm water in the piece. I can take bigger hits. I find that warm water makes my hit smoother and I can take bigger hits when I use warm water as opposed to cold water or ice in the bong. I don't go too hot. It's usually just faucet hot water. I turn the left side of my faucet on and after a moment, I'm like, ah, perfect. Now you might have a different piece or a different setup, but I would use this method going into any flower hit on any piece, big or small. I would use the similar method. So next, let's talk about the material you're going to be burning, the flower. You want good, high quality material, obviously. You don't want to be smoking mids. But drier weed burns a little bit quicker. If there's a little bit less moisture, it's a little on the drier side. It's going to burn a little bit easier or a little bit faster than if it has more moisture or if it's really sticky. That's something to consider. Stickier butt is good for like joints or rolls or something like that because it's going to burn a little slower, a little bit longer. Drier bud's a little bit better for herb vapes or flower bong hits because you're going to be able to take a bigger hit. However, you can smoke stickier stuff, something with more moisture in your flower piece or in your bong. It doesn't have to be drier, but for a bigger hit, if it's a little bit on the drier side, it's gonna burn quicker. I also prefer ground up bud over hand broken or like scissor chopped bud. I find that when it's ground, it just burns a little quicker and easier. When you break it up by hand, it doesn't quite burn as quickly. I've been using a toothless grinder and it gives me like a fluffier bud consistency. It's not finely ground like some of the other grinders I've used. And I actually feel like having the right consistency of bud helps it burn a little better or easier. When it's too finely ground, sometimes you don't get enough airflow and it doesn't burn as evenly or as efficiently. And then sometimes when it's too fluffy, the heat doesn't spread well enough for you to burn your whole bowl so there's like this balance in the middle of like how big the pieces of bud are but don't pack your bowl too tight if you pack your bowl too tight you're gonna have a hard time burning it you should be able to light your whole bowl with a lighter in a matter of like a couple of seconds if it takes you longer than that you might have packed it too tight and you're not getting good airflow you got your piece ready but now you need to prepare yourself you probably heard me say sip before you rip. If you're hydrated, you're going to be able to take a bigger rip. Sipping before you rip can help, but if you're just like abysmally dehydrated, you're going to have a hard time taking a fat rip. So that sip will help, but just be hydrated. Just drink a lot of water every day. I used to practice Tai Chi. There's a lot of breathing exercises. Now we practice Hai Chi. I take nice deep breaths before I do a bong rip. I do them slowly at first, and then I do faster breaths. I'll do like a six to 10 second inhale, and then a six to 10 second exhale. Try to slowly stretch my lungs out so that when I fill them up with smoke, they're ready to go. So I'll take a few deep breaths slowly. If I'm lining up for like a huge rip, I'll take a few more. I'll sip for a moment. I'll take a few deep breaths. If you watch my Twitch streams, you'll know. We prep for the big ones. But deep breaths, inhaling fully, so you basically can't inhale anymore, and then exhaling fully. This is important. You need to make sure you exhale until you can't exhale anymore. Too many people start inhaling before they finish their exhale. And doing this with smoke in your lung will make you cough in a lot of cases. So slow deep breaths in, slow exhales out. And then right before, I don't like to do only slow breaths. Lately, I find myself doing like right before the hit, a quick deep breath where I try to in two seconds or three seconds, inhale fully and then exhale fully. I'll do that a couple of times. I find that it makes me feel like I'm not out of breath. Sometimes when you do a few slow deep breaths and then you take a hit after, 
you feel like you're struggling for air a little bit. You're pulling the air through the bong or through the chamber, but you feel like you need a little bit more. And sometimes you pull air in through your nose. I do it from time to time. I find if I take one or two deep breaths really quickly right after I've done the slow deep breaths, I don't need to pull in air through my nose. That can help you cool off your throat. But I usually just pull in air through my nose to get oxygen. And that oxygen takes away from the smoke that I'm going to be able to fit into my lungs. So a few slow deep breaths, then a few quicker deep breaths, and then light it. I mentioned earlier, it should only take you a couple seconds to light your bowl. If it takes you longer, you might need to work on the pack job, but try to light it. Don't just sit there and hold your flame on it to make it burn faster and faster. That's going to make it too hot and make it unenjoyable. You really don't want to do that. You don't want to get the torch out and just fry your whole bowl just for the sake of burning it faster. You want to get an even light and have your flour burn properly. Posture is really important to remember because if you don't have good posture, you're not going to be able to expand your lungs fully. If you're curled over, you're not going to get a big hit. Sit up straight or even stand when you take your fat rips. It's going to help. So while I'm inhaling, I start off pulling slowly to get the bowl lit. You don't want to start off pulling as fast as you can. But after you've created the combustion on the bowl, you can increase the rate at which you inhale. The harder you pull, the more combustion you're going to create. But there is a diminishing return there. You can pull too hard where you're just getting in more air. So find that balance. You'll find it over time with practice. But start off pulling slowly and then increase the speed at which you're inhaling. Your bong hit starts out slow or your breath starts out as a slow inhale. And it'll slowly speed up. And then towards the end of your hit, when you go to clear the piece, you're going to rapidly speed up the inhale. So you have to be in control of your inhale the whole time. And lastly, I touched on it earlier, but exhale fully. Once you've filled your lungs up with smoke, make sure you exhale it all. Get it all out. Only focus on exhaling. If you feel the urge to cough or something like that, try to fight it. Focus on the exhale. Get all of the smoke out of your lungs. Literally just keep blowing out until you can't anymore. I see way too many people before they finish their exhale just start breathing again because they didn't do proper breathing techniques before and they feel like they have a little bit of lack of oxygen or something going on. Try to take a full inhale with the smoke and a full exhale to get it all out. That'll make your hits feel smoother overall and your smoking experience more enjoyable. Also, one thing I forgot to mention, but I should have, is don't pack too much into your bowl. Learn what a hit is for you and pack that amount. And if you're trying to take bigger hits, slowly increase the amount that you're packing. Don't just pack the biggest bowl that you can and then try to work your way up to hitting that huge one. That's like going into the gym and trying to find the thousand pound dumbbells and lift them up or something. And you're like, well, I can't lift them today. Maybe I'll be able to lift them tomorrow. No, start on the smaller bowls. Start on the smaller weights. Work yourself up to those big hits. Don't just assume you're going to be able to do it. Well, there it is, the exact method I use for taking fatter rips. I feel like we covered all the important steps. Those methods can be applied to most flower pieces, dab hits. You're not trying to take bigger hits on your vape pen. But unfortunately, we can't take any fat rips here. They'll restrict the heck out of this video. So come smoke with me on Twitch. I go live after 9 p.m. Eastern. And if you have Amazon Prime, you can give me that Jeff Bezos money. And if you've never heard about smoking bongs with the sun, check out this video right here. I talk about solar hits and how cool they are. Have a dub day, my dudes.